Hello and welcome to the second part of how to calculate ovulation period. I am your school doctor, Dr. Lukman Olushesi. In this video, we are going to look at three important areas, the menstrual cycle, ovulation period, and safe period. The menstrual cycle is the number of days from one period to another. It is counted from the first day of one period to the first day of the next period. Some questions came up at the end of last video. You know, someone said, oh, her menses is 21 days. That when she finishes her menses, then she will start counting. This is very wrong. You need to start counting your cycle from the first day that you see blood. That is the first day of your cycle. And the next time you see blood, that is the first day of the, of the following period. The number of days in between will now be your menstrual cycle. Please stick around. We'll get down to the practical sessions in a bit. Welcome back. Let us assume that this person starts her menses on the 1st of January and starts another menstruation on the 30th of January. What it means is that the length of the cycle is 30. On the other hand, if she starts on the 1st of January and another round of menses starts on the 28th of January, the length of this woman cycle is 28. If she starts on the 1st of January, and starts another menstruation on the 21st of January. The length of the cycle is what? 21 days. Right? Let us now assume that she begins her menses on the 1st of January and didn't see anything until the 4th of February. If you count the number of days from the 1st of January to the 4th of February, you must have counted 35 days. So it means that the length of the cycle is 35 days. So it is very, very important that you determine the length of your own cycle because it is when you know the length of your cycle the duration of your cycle is it 35 is it 21 is it 28 that is when you'll be able to determine the your ovulation period as we are going to explain shortly the menstrual cycle has four phases right you have the menstruation phase, when you have your menses, your menstrual flow, the follicular phase, when the eggs begin, begin to form after menstruation, the ovulation phase, when you know the fully formed egg is released, all right, as well as the luteal phase, that is the period after ovulation. What you should remember is that the follicular phase varies. The period before your ovulation varies depending on the length of your menstrual cycle. Depending on the length of your menstrual cycle. Alright? However, the luteal phase, that is the phase after ovulation, is constant. 
is constant and it is about 12 to 14 days. For the purpose of this lesson, we are going to assume that the duration of the luteal phase is 14 days plus or minus two or three days. All right, so in calculating our ovulation day, we just subtract 14 days from the length of our cycle. You will appreciate why it is very, very important that you know the duration of your own cycle. You count from the first day of your menses to the first day of the menses that follow that. All right, the number of days in between one menses and the other is the duration of your cycle. Now, let us look at it practically. If your cycle is 28 days, for instance, so your ovulation day will be your ovulation days will be 28 minus 14, right? Which is, say, 14. Okay? Now, if your cycle is 30 days, your ovulation day would be 30 minus 14 which will be day 16. If your menstrual cycle is 35 days, for instance, your ovulation day will be 35 minus 14. All right? Which is, say that's um, 21, day 21 of your cycle. And wait for it. If the duration of your own cycle is 21 days, right? Your ovulation day will be 21 minus 14, which is day 7 of your cycle. The implication of this is that for a, 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 a woman whose menstrual cycle is just 21 days it means that if she menstruates for like three to five days two days after she's already ovulated and that is why you cannot begin to compare yourself to the other person in terms of oh when are you safe when are you not safe you can imagine if this person, if the duration of this person, if the duration of the menstrual flow is like extends to seven days, that means even while she will be menstruating, she is already ovulating. Okay. Now let us go to our calendar and also demonstrate this so that you will understand the first example we gave was that that of a 30 day cycle if you subtract 14 from 30 you get 16 right let me pick another color for that you get 16 that means the most probable day that you are most fertile is the day 16 of your cycle counting from the first day of your menstrual flow all right now you now have to count three days before that day all right and three days after so the implication of this is that between 13th of january to 19th of january those are the period that you are most likely going to get pregnant when you have unprotected sex. Those are the periods that you are most fertile. Those are the periods that you should have, you know, 
more unprotected sex because it will improve your chances of getting pregnant. This is for a woman whose duration of menses is 30 days. Now, if the duration of menstruation, if the duration of the menstrual cycle is 28 days, for instance, if you subtract 14 from 28, it will give you 14, right? So on the 14th day of your cycle, that is the most probable day that you are going to ovulate. Now, if you now count three days before that day and three days after. So the whole of this week are your most fertile days. If you have unprotected sex during this time, you are most likely going to get pregnant because these are the periods that the eggs are waiting to be fertilized all right so any other day outside this week the chances of getting pregnant is very slim now let us look for a woman whose menstrual cycle is 21 days If you subtract 14 from 21, what you get is 7. It means that on the seventh day of her menstrual cycle, she is going to ovulate. Alright? So, if we now count three days before that day, And also consider three days after that day. It means that the whole of this week represents the fertile period for the woman. And if, if she has unprotected sex during these times, she actually going to get pregnant. Now, Let's look at the peculiarity of having a short menstrual cycle, like this example, whose menstrual cycle is 21 days. It means that if she menstruates for three days, immediately after her menstruation, she is already ovulating. If she menstruates for, say, five days, it means that even while she is menstruating, she is also ovulating and it, it, it will be it will be shocking you know to you that oh i i i, I had sex immediately after my menses i shouldn't be pregnant but i am pregnant my dear if your menstrual cycle is 21 days and you and you have sex unprotected sex during or immediately after your menses you are most likely going to get pregnant and it will be normal for you yes it will be very very normal for you so it is crucial that we understand the menstrual cycle and we determine the duration of your own menstrual cycle immediately you begin to have the flow that is the first day of your cycle when you are done with that part particular menstrual uh, period all right whenever your menses start again that is the end of that cycle so you will now need to count from the first day of the last menstruation to the first day of this menstruation the number of days in between will represent the duration of your own menstrual cycle now you can now easily determine the ovulation period and also decide whether you want to get pregnant or you want to avoid getting pregnant. If you have questions or clarifications, you can put them in the comment sessions. I will personally attend to them. 
Thank you for listening. I'm play safe.